welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Demetrius Andre is the dummy of the day, and look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Demetrius Andre has recently went on the PBC podcast where he talks about potential fights that he's willing to take, fights that he's looking forward to, and fights that he's trying to get made. In one fight, when David Morrell was brought up, he stated that he would not fight David Morrell simply because he's too young. That's the only reason why he's not interested in the David Morrell fight. But then on the reverse end, he said he's very interested and would absolutely accept and take an Edgar Belong a fight right now. Now I find that interesting when you look at Edgar Berlanga. Edgar Berlanga is 25 years old. And even though he's 25 years old, he's not too young for Demetrius Andre. But then you see David Morrell, he's also 25 years old. So why would you fight Berlanga but not David Morrell and David Morrell is a much better fighter than Edgar Berlanga and we've seen David Morrell went through his development at this point you've seen that this guy's a better skill set than Berlanga he seems to have more power than Berlanga and he's also calling for the big names he's not looking to be protected or held back he's wanting to fight guys like David Benavides as well so he's willing to risk it all this man is the WBA regular champion so he's obviously highly ranked ready to get up there and get a shot at Canelo David Benavides say what you will about David Morrell but he does have a lot of potential and a very good skill set that's a disaster for a guy like Demetrius Andre who's defensively overrated I mean let's be honest unbiased and Demetrius Andre Chin is overrated I mean this guy was dropped in his last fight by Damon Nicholson a journeyman a cab driver a palatero so at the end of the day imagine if David Morrell was in there if David Morrell catches Demetrius Andre he's sending him to hell not just dropping his ass on the canvas because men lie women lie but the facts don't lie